Oh, no. Things are not going well for me, guys. Okay. Oh, crap. Spider. Okay, well. Gonna have to break out every trick I know. Hello, everyone. My name is Dredden, and we are in 7 Days to Die 17.4. And today we are going to try to speed run a gyrocopter in seven days to die. Gyrocopter, of course, is one of the hardest things to get in the game. It is something that requires the highest number of levels, takes a lot of materials to get. And so, yeah, we're going to try to do this. Now, I was watching Zhwoodle do this and I commented on his video saying that this would be something that would really intrigue me because I've always loved the idea of being efficient in seven days to die. And so, I, he said do it, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, so um, I've made everything to be exactly like Zwoodle has. This brings up an interesting point because if I'm speed running based off of what he's doing um, in the same world and I'm watching his stuff, does that make it a problem? Kinda, maybe. Makes my, gives me possibly an advantage, so maybe I won't do that. Anyway, the whole point is to uh, get we're going to hit this and I'm going to talk about this challenge. Bam. Um, to get to this, the gyrocopter as quick as we can. Okay, guys, the game is loaded. We are frozen right now. Now, uh, yeah, he was definitely not lying when he said that, uh, yeah, it was nice just to get going. So we're just going to hop right into all the quests that we have here. Um, we need like 20, 30 plant fiber. We're, the reason why we're going to do this part really quickly is because then we get a bunch more points which allows us to get more stuff done here so I'm not even going to be concerned I'm just gonna keep walking hitting and walking now we can't go too far uh, we have to try to not you know get up too much out of the way here um, this isn't really crazy efficient but it is not too bad so we are gonna grab that wood um, Plant fiber, there's a rock over there finally. Because we need about five or six rocks. And so um just looking for more rocks, really. Now, yeah, I was thinking it is a bit funny to have it be in the exact same world. Maybe I should have done uh you know, add an A to the end of the thing or to the world. But I didn't, so I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so now we need to really figure something out here. Yes, yeah, so if I go too far, come on you, then I will possibly get too many zombies spawning. Um, and I do, at minimum, I hope that we are somewhere else in the world at a different spawn point, but you never know. So, okay, I'm going to start favoriting things right off the bat. No, come on. Favorite, all my favorites. This makes it a little bit faster to find the good stuff, you know? Splints are favorites, stone arrows. We're gonna be doing one of those hopefully today. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Okay. Boom. Bam. Odds are pretty good that I won't die right off the bat. I tend not to, so we'll find out. First aid bandage there. For now, we'll put the torch there. Line clean block out. Stone axe. Craft. I uh, will be cutting out a bunch of stuff uh, as quickly as you know I can. Probably need more wood, so may as well chop a bunch and make some plant fiber stuff at the same time. So we will go craft. Um, craft. Craft, craft, and craft, and we'll just continue chopping the wood as those things craft. Right, it takes a few minutes, so anyways, we'll just do this. And once they're all done, we'll wear them and it should be nice and happy. So now I, I'm thinking about how many of the you know tricks and stuff I know and what I can use. All right, W, 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 that was not a W, U, W, thank you. And, you know, I know a lot of things, some of which are questionable, but we're doing a speed run. And now 
Um, some speedrunners do things in such a way that it is uh, required that, you know, they glitch through things and do stuff like that. And I'm not good. I don't know many things about glitching through things, but, um, you know, we're not going to do all the, all the nastiness, but just little things with blocks and stuff that everything I know, I think is fair game. Pair that and go over to favorites, craft that. Great. Which one's next? Is it this frames? I think it's the bow, which we have to find some feathers. Okay. Craft. So I saw a nest. Yep. There's one. Six. That's enough. Arrows. I am missing stone. All right. We don't really want to go into too many buildings or anything right now. Uh, we need another little cotton sub biome. Oh, another nest. So I'm um, just going to like look around for some more of those things. Now we can't go too far away. Otherwise, the world will start bringing in zombies. And well, zombies are nice and friendly little folk. We don't necessarily want to be dealing with them right off the bat. Mm, yeah. Just trying to think of like every little detail I know about the game, including like POIs and stuff. Now, I'm not a perfect expert at all this. <laughs> so we're going to mess up every now and then. All right, that's good enough. And four is enough. Um, now, I think it might be a good investment in time to break down a boulder um, a little bit. Oh, I didn't do the wooden bow. I did it too early. Craft. Scrap. It's fine. We'll just break this down a little bit. Uh, another reason to do this early on uh, is that way you can get your... Um, iron reinforced club so you know there's that and if you're trying to do it with the efficiency of building other things then it's working pretty well for you all right pop 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 we'll just get those down kind of wish I had a hammer for this but it's not that big of a deal overall there are many other little areas to regain efficiency in um, so we'll try to regain as much as we can, when we can. Campfire, that's another good reason to have broken down this rock, because now we have the wood to make a campfire. Not a co-fire, co camo co co fire <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, that's crafting, we're going to break it down another level. Um, I can't remember the numbers uh, at the moment. It would be quite a few. Anyway, let me just break this thing down real quick. Okay, we're going to repair the club as well, or the stone axe, as well as a few other things here. Um, repair. Bring this guy down here real quick. We have 21 already. And so that'll give us, I think, um, it's actually only three, I think, when you scrap it, right? So that's only around 60. So that's not going to be amazingly good, but it'll bring us pretty close having the requisite amount of stuff that we need now the, yeah the main reason we want to do this so quick is so that we can get our five points good job survivor we did it have some points thank you game thank you um we have an interesting section right over here because this is uh well it looks like burnt forest maybe there or wasteland tuck kind of tough to say and then pretty much every biome right here there's a factory over there and we don't really want to go into there right away they have desert and we have uh well technically pine forest right here so it gives us a great kind of combination of everything uh now i'm gonna just ditch a bunch of stuff um in the name of total efficiency for myself and what I think of as being very efficient. Now, if you guys have better strategies, let me know um, and I will consider them, try to integrate them if I can. And uh, yeah, we should be good from there. Now then, I'm gonna keep this coal. We're gonna scrap this. 
because we're not going to get much done. 101, look at that, beautiful. Worked out perfectly for us today. Now, we're going to start searching garbages and other things. I did not throw my lead in there. So that, uh... Ah, you... Come on. Oh, it's empty. Okay, makes sense. Now I'm distracted and don't remember what I said. Oh yeah, searching garbages so that we can get things like um, pills, uh, medicine kind of stuff. Get rid of the gunpowder when I have a moment. Um, I should be getting ready to make cloth armor, but I'll probably do that more so when I, you know, start breaking into houses and stuff. And that way I can collect the material. I don't know, maybe we'll keep that, I guess. So, like in many cases, getting water is a very important one. Uh, this is actually a pretty good POI to start off with. Um, there's some water probably right there in the water treatment plant. This might be the exact same place that you will um, start off in. I feel like it is like that. But on the other hand, I have been... Whoa there. Okay. Get your club out, man. And actually start making your other club. So let's back off just a little bit extra. No! Rattlesnake! He must be inside there. Okay. Favorites, Iron Reinforced Club, Craft. We'll just get that going right away. And we should also put the bow in our inventory here. Oh, he's trying to poke his little head through the wall there. Alright. Back off a smidgen. I should spend my points real quick before I go back in there. Bam. Okay. Um, now there's a lot of things to spend one's points on. I'm gonna go with the ones that I currently think are my favorites. Um, pack mule will be important. Skull Crusher is definitely important on day one. Pack mule, yeah, kinda. Um. Man, there's so many, so many early on ones that are good to get. Healing factor is kind of nice, that so way you don't need to get quite as much stuff. Slow metabolism is also great, because then you don't need as much food. Whew, you guys. Now these guys, I really do hate trying to hit them. They're just almost a bunch of luck trying to get them. Okay, two down. We should probably skin them. No, don't do that. Come on, man. Those hay bales are good for stuff. Ow! Old timer. Why would you do that to me? Ah, right, because he's a zombie, that's why. Stop it. Okay. I am. Uh, now, I'm not quite sure. My other series, uh, I'm doing some experimental editing on. This one, I'm just going to do whatever I kind of feel is good, which may or may not include cutting out. Zombie killing action. I don't know. We'll see how my days go. Um, a little busy with a lot of stuff, so. Yeah, good. Bow is still there. Now, um, other people like to do stealth kills and stuff, uh, which is also fantastic and great. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to focus on that. I don't haven't been focusing that much on it. Um... For quite a while, actually. I don't even know if I did very much in Alpha 16. Yeah, I guess I did at some point. Okay, let's see what we find here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello. You're my new friend. It almost puts this Iron Reinforced one as a sort of <laughs> moot point. Don't really need it. Alright, well, let's reload this. And uh, actually, you don't, you know, I'm not going to waste my ammo on that. You coming down? I'm certainly not being quiet. Ah, he's not going to come down. Well, time to say hello to my little friend. No? Nobody else up here? Oh, get that head! Ah, oh, his arm was in the way. Goodbye, sir. Bam! Okay, so we're just going to break through what we can. So... I'm always though gonna move my thing. Oh, that is freaking amazing! It's 
almost a little bit too weird, huh? Some of these things are so coincidentally the same. Um, with like the black dye and stuff. I don't know, kind of weird. Now, um, mm -mm, do I want to make this little house? Well, it's not necessarily a bad idea to have a place to run to. Uh, I am going to stick my bedroll, I think, in here. I can always craft myself a new one pretty easily. Um, I don't know. There. Probably end up breaking a lot of these things during the nighttime. Replacing things around. Just for a quick kind of cheap way to have a little base. You know? Okay. So we're going to head in. We're going to take a look at this little bit of water here. Now, um, this POI, I kind of don't feel like it's got all that much stuff in it. I know it has a lot of hay, which is kind of useful if you want to build like a hiding area or a fallen area. So I do generally pick it up and use it as much as I can. Anyhow, we're going to move on. Mega crush. Two military camps. All right. Well, I'm also wondering how I want to do all of this. Now, I have already these particular weapons. I don't I don't have many other long-term weapons, um, but there are maybe some other alternate arrangements I can do or ways to get the zombies to come to me. I am. Um, which includes probably a lot of different tactics with ladders that I've employed. Okay, just kind of getting a feel for what's around here. You can catch up, man. I got stuff to do. Let's just get the water available to me here, right? That would be a good idea. Um, so what I generally do is a lot of things like this. Uh, I don't need 39, but 10 is probably a good start. Oh, the zombies are spawning in. Uh, probably will as soon as I do this, but that's okay too. Well, we we'll probably get a shotgun at some point. They seem to be fairly common. Um, thanks, game. Yeah, that was beautiful. Now, uh, what I was going to say is I generally like to do something like that. And there. We now have access to water. So what I normally do is spend a lot more time getting melee stuff happening. But in this case, I think I'm not going to. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of thinking a miniature sort of kill an area right here would be useful. Um, the wall itself provides half of the structure, so maybe might do that. I'm just going to keep looking around though. Um, could also be good to grab a bit more of this stuff as I'm uh, running or moving around. That way I can gather up whatever I might need. Now I believe there's a tree or something that is right beside there that you can just dig into right beside it and gain the resources of it um, sort of skipping past all the the vast majority of the zombies though in this case we kind of want to get a bunch of skill points so you know we might end up doing that anyway um, oh come on Swing that thing. Hey, one hit on that? That's awesome. I mean, it drains all your power, but hey, that's not too bad. Until we have a pot, uh, the cans are our best bet of water. Anyway, let me just chop down a couple of trees. I think I'm going to need them to build some ladders and or wooden bars. Yeah, I'm trying to analyze pretty much like every structure I see for possible designs that could work kind of in combination with them and the environment which is about the only thing that I think can really give me an advantage I don't know we'll see if it works or not um, 
I do kind of like this area just due to the fact that there are a number of military camps right near us. And there's this big open field here too, which is also great. Now, if I could dig faster, I could probably set up something really, really quick. Um, but it's kind of, you know, uh, I'm not quite sure if it would be going to work fast enough. Okay, so yeah, even at nighttime, we don't really want to stop. And that suits me just fine. You know, I don't mind that at all. Hmm. Um, but actually, even having extra dirt like this is not a problem. Um, I wouldn't say that this is efficient necessarily. There it is. Okay. Good. So, I also want to make sure I can get hop in and out real quick. So, this is a good little thing. Yeah, we're going to try to do this as many times as we can. Oh, no. I was digging the wrong one. For as many POIs as possible. Um, so, we'll just sort of see here. Okay, we're gonna get the good old sludge hammer. Go a little bit stealthy. A little bit at a time. Just moving forward quietly. We have one big baddie. Hopefully. Oh man, I really wish I could see his head. Makes this really tricky. Um. Okay, well, we're just gonna miss on that one. And hopefully, I got too many. Oh no! That is the worst. Okay, I'm going up because. Oh no! I'm out of. Oh, this is just really bad. <laughs> okay. Close this real quick. Get my stamina back. I am encumbered. That is what's going on. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Scrap that. Oh, no. Things are not going well for me, guys. Okay. Oh, crap. Spider. Okay, well, gonna have to break out every trick I know, which isn't necessarily gonna help, because <laughs> this is just gonna be tough. Just gotta get good real quick. Okay. Hopefully, the cheerleader will just come to us. Okay, great. Oh! Die already, man. We may have to hide in here all night. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. I don't really know what she's up to, but... We're gonna throw... No, we're gonna do the tricks that we know. That trick. Great. Now then, let's break through these as quickly as we can. Maybe not as quickly as we can. I think the sledgehammer is slightly more efficient, but... That is also okay. Nope! Don't do that. I should have used that swing. Okay, those are actually kind of useless to us. The bike handles, yeah, a little bit. A little good. But, um, meh. That's also totally meh. And, um... Let's see here. What do we got here? Lab equipment, eh? That's kind of crap. Tallow's actually alright, though. Uh, I guess we're gonna use the sledgehammer. We're gonna smash through this. Should be okay. Let me come back in a second here. Everybody knows we're here. All right, looks like we've got ourselves a guest. I mean, I'm trying to be a little quieter so that they may forget about me, but you know, I am smashing a wooden chest here <laughs> with a sledgehammer. Not gonna do much. We're gonna just save our stamina for a second. Ah, dang it. Quickly walk over here. Do a little roundabout here. Okay, she found her way in. We are not in a good way. Did she just fall down there? <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. You can do that. I don't mind. I don't really know where that goes. To be honest, this was one of the very first POIs that I found in the game and decided to not 
Well, I just never did it, you know? It's kind of a weird thing. Um, now, I stashed some of my other ammos. Um, I think almost all of them in here. What I'm going to do is transfer them all to here because it's a little bit nicer. All the stuff that is uh, not entirely needed right off the bat. So we're just going to throw these guys in here kind of as quickly as we can. Um, or maybe not quite as quick as we can. <laughs> Anyhow, I believe that I should maybe take this cotton and get some more bandages. Now I'm intrigued by this. Oh, water this is cool. Um, I think this warrants further investigation. Um, there's lots of good stuff in here, probably. But... Ooh, hi there. <laughs> Don't fall in the hole. And getting out of here. If I can, uh, this trick here is you just kind of do that. A uh, little duck. And most of the time, the zombies can't get through there. Bam. Okay. Done and done on that. Now then, we have our three cans. I'm thinking... Oh, this, this, that. We're going to grab just a smidgen more water. Because I don't know if I'm going to get a cooking pot tonight. So we're just going to do that. Okay, so we need to secure ourselves a place to hopefully fight some zombies. Now, what I generally do is fight on the street. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Yeah, it'll probably get me killed today. Um, what I would also really love is to get myself some more bandages, because that is almost one of the biggest key components here. Now, one of the quickest ways probably to do that is to run into one of these military bases. Now, this one I definitely know is a bad, bad idea to run into. Wait, there's a hotel there. That is probably our best bet. Okay. Um, but there's all the cotton here, so we're one, two, three, four. That's bandage one. You recipes, cloth fragment. We're going to favorite that and craft those guys up as we pick up some more. One, two, three, four. Good. And I'm going to turn this recipe, bandage, craft, and then these guys we're going to quickly transform into the cloth needed for another bandage, and then we'll do some more as we go. Let's go in, into this uh, hotel. Reason being is because it has a lot of um, cloth and a lot of little things to break down over the nighttime, and it has water in the background, so we're gonna. That's why we're gonna go here. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to think about the different choices that um, people have, right? Okay, reload that now. Is it reloaded? Okay, good. Um, back door, front door. You know, it doesn't really matter per se. Uh, this isn't really the greatest place. Oh, wait a second. We don't even need to go in here today. Yeah, there we go. There's being a little more clever. We'll just utilize this. And we'll also utilize these chairs real quick too. There's a quick supply of wood if you scrap them down or you can even in a pinch use them to climb walls and other such things um, but we have our wooden frames so we are not going to do that oh and just fuel too they're just like so versatile man chairs it's been a while since i've had to think on this level of efficiency it's kind of cool i like it, it means uh yeah a lot more thinking here let me Okay, I already have too many. I've got more than enough for now. We can always zip back over here. Scrap these. Uh, this gives us 60 wood. I'm going to break down another couple trees and build something in the middle of the road so that I can survive the night and just be able to keep looting and whatnot. Now, there's a number of structures that uh, are quite useful, some of which are things like a... I guess in this, in this alpha, it's actually more of a barbed wire cross that work really well for me. And there's also a ladder. There's a number of different ladder structures that are also quite good. So we're going to maybe do those as well. Um, so I need um, four of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. And yeah, that'll do for a start. Okay. Now... This roof is actually big enough, too, that we can 
Can we? Will it work? Hmm. You know, I don't actually know. Hmm. For a particular type of lottery base that I've come up with. Okay, anyhow. Hmm. We probably need a little more rock. Yeah, I think I'm going to save that for... Ah, oh, this is why I need a nice stone axe here to craft. Uh, do we have any more skill points that we can spend? One. Oh, yeah. See, I can already see myself getting something else here. Um, a cardio. Cardio is another good one. That's just fantastic. Man, there's so many things you need right at the beginning of the game, right? We're going to do a bunch of base building right away so that we can have a nice secure little area. Oh, man, this is like perfect. This and this right beside each other? Oh, yeah. This is good. So that we can try to loot through the night and just keep on powering through. All right, we're going to break this down real quick and continue. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of things real quick. We're going to craft ourselves up, I don't know, 20 ladders, just off the top of my head. Going to do that. Um, I just undid that, which is not fantastic. Um, favorite. Whoa, what's behind me? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Good. Uh, we need to quickly probably discard a couple things. We're going to eat that later. I'm not going to combine the nitrate with the gunpowder um, simply because it would. I don't know. It, it's XP, but I'm going to use the coal probably in the fire. Now, I think what I'm going to do is go. Oh, there's a darned thing right there. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, cars like this, man. Not good. Oh, I should get that pig. I'm a bit hungry. Oh boy, come on. There we go. Alright, that's good. Let's go get you. And then start crafting some barbed wire. We are not going to dilly-dally with making pretty much anything here. Um, I think I might go with this slightly different design here. Just that car. We have to adapt to it being there. Okay, we'll get more of those as they come. But yeah, we're not going to be dilly-dallying here at all. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight here. And do, do, do that there. And that guy there. We need to do a double run because we're adapting. Oh, come on. Man, I'm feeling the stress right now. This is like a super critical moment. We're going to hold off on that because we have to get this down so that we can have oh see we have to get that guy gone too uh, that's a terrible placement but you know what don't have the time right now to deal with that so okay we have to go try to kill him quickly dang it and End. Okay. Stealth mode. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are not r really well off. I'm going to reposition that chest because it is in a bad, bad place for me. Now, I don't really mind living on the street like this. It's sort of, you know, kind of my thing. Um, yeah, we're going to do another one of those and also more barbed wire. Okay, there. Now then, the barbed wire will go continue to string it across this street here. Now what I really like to do is do something more like this, where I'd actually dig a small hole and put them away down there. That way there's a less likelihood of anything coming to get it. So we need a campfire. So we can start cooking some stuff. Let me just put down a campfire and boil this water. And I think we should be okay. And then I'm going to move on to the next phase. Okay, so what I'm doing here over here is I put the campfire in here. My hope is to take over this entire little square. Um, I generally do it as a cross, but you know, there's no reason you couldn't make it a square either. Um, a square also gives you 
the added advantage of if a wandering horde comes running through right at you uh, you can at least protect you on all four sides it's kind of like a weird little base um, yeah it's possibly a pretty useful okay so now we're pretty much ready to do whatever we want again um, let me see here I need at least something that is like about 12-ish uh, blocks high so we can cause some damage to zombies and if we wanted to do a ladder jump base which is pretty useful for survival and and actually maybe if we extended it off of that waterworks though the fence is sort of in the way isn't it then we could uh, have ourselves a, a good little mechanism for killing the zombies. So we've already gotten the loot in there. Um, I do really think going into here would be a pretty good one to do. Uh, also, you know, if we... Hmm... It is facing east, so if we put ourselves a little wall along here, maybe we could utilize its structure as part of a wall. Uh, you know what? Might actually be really good. I don't know for sure, for sure, but this building over here would also be pretty good, I think, because its wall is very solid. And. Yeah, you know. Other than the bears inside. It is pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, there's lots of options, guys. So many things that could be done. Now, we would have to rip down this or, like, what? let the zombies rip it apart for us. Basically, I'm just paralyzed by options right now. There's just so many things that could work that um, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Um, okay, so one of the things I'm going to do... I'm going to maybe get on top of one of these buildings here oh yeah see because we could also use this building too to build a nice little wall okay let's um deal with this mo here because he's kind of bugging me we're gonna take a shot and call him over here where are you there guy um and he stopped he'll probably start walking soon as we want him to. Alrighty. Continually adjusting. There we go. And we're just gonna, I don't know, attempt to finish him off. Before he gets to us. And... Bam! And we're going to utilize this just to make sure we're nice and safe. And boom. Collect my arrow. Thanks. Great. Done. Okay, I'm going to start crafting a bunch of things. Uh, ladders, mostly. And I'm going to gather some more wood. I'll be right back. Very important at night if you're harvesting resources to in fact just sort of chill out a little bit you know make sure you have enough stamina to get to where you're safe uh in this particular case mm, i'm a little bit pushing it it's pretty far over there oh oh yeah get it almost wasted that swing but yeah i'm trying to take out this tree so that i can see exactly what this roof is doing um because that kind of makes things different uh, my plan is to build a couple of little structures here to help me survive and also do the Horde Knight. And so that should be all kind of integrated into one. Um, yeah, all right. So then that's a lot of that. Now we have all the wood. Now I'm going to just plant, replant a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know. It's not really great place for them, but... I'm gonna do that real quick. So yeah, what I'm thinking is I need a way to have the zombies ideally take a little bit of damage before they get to me, and that way I can 
kill them as quickly as possible, like gaining the XP, but not necessarily, you know, missing out on it, right? So it's just this like tricky little thing here we gotta figure out. Um, we also need to find a bunch of workbenches because optimally um, it would be better to figure that stuff out. How far is the trader actually? I mean, normally I'm not much of a tradery kind of person, but uh, I've been recently and um, it's quite possibly a good choice here. Okay. So, I'm just building a lot of materials and stuff right now to kind of help me out here. Let's um, let's try some lottery tricks, okay? Yeah, let's do it over here beside this military base because um, I want to get in there and start getting that stuff going here. Now, so we're going to throw this into advanced rotation. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. We're gonna do roughly twenty-four. Um, now this is a funny little trick that I discovered, and um, I guess you could consider it the zombies don't like getting their feet caught in the rungs. <laughs> I don't know. You'll see if you haven't seen before. So anyway, there's that. Uh, we're gonna just get rid of this thing. I just don't want all these extra little distractions. I'm gonna wait till four o'clock to get that happening. Uh, it's just that it would be, I think, more efficient to try to kill them in the daytime. Um, but yeah, that pretty much brings this episode to a close. Um, I'm thinking I need, yeah, Equipment over levels uh, is sort of my thoughts. Um, because levels get you more bad guys, worse bad guys. And if you don't have the equipment first, then you don't have the advantage. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. That's just my personal thoughts. But we're going to try this out pretty soon. But for now, this is done, and we are going to call this episode over. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, share with some friends, and we will break into this place tomorrow. We've got to watch over the landmines, and yeah, that'll be good times for us all. Anyhow, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.